I want to show you the load of stone that we have. You know, first glance, you see what you expect from us, what you see us use, the inch and a half. All right, so we got 300 ton of stone in, and I wanted to share with you guys what we discovered. So you know we like the inch and a half round rock. Let's just go over that really quick. Why the round rock? because it doesn't compact. When stone compacts in French drains, you lose the void. That void moves water. So we get our inch and a half round rock and at first glance, everything is normal until we start digging into the pile. So I'm gonna show you something that this does happen. See all the stone chips? These are all stone chips. I, I don't care about the dirt. The dirt doesn't bother me. That's gonna wash right through the giant inlets of high octane. But these stone chips, these stone chips do bother me because they get stuck in the large inlets of high octane and that's gonna hurt our flow rating. So we like to keep our flow rating stupid crazy high. As you guys know, we got the fastest running yard drains on the planet and we're gonna be able to do that even with Inch and a half round rock full of stone chips. I'm gonna show you how. Stay tuned. All right, this pea stone is like concrete. There could be, you know, a couple of different reasons for this, but um, I'm seeing this orange color, so I think it's iron awk. This is another risk you run when you use a small aggregate like pea stone. It's just too tight. There's not a big enough void to overcome something like this. The guys did a really good job and they went ahead and went in between the boulders where the water was just seeping. See, there's an irrigation system up here so that they can keep this landscape looking beautiful around their hardscape patio. And, you know, this is something that I've seen many, many, many times. So you have drip line under here and it's keeping the plants alive. You have to water because it's an elevated bed. It's gonna dry out quickly. But now all the water ends up at the bottom of these boulders. And it's just always saturated because to keep those plants alive, you have to be on some sort of watering schedule. So we do a lot of these elevated patios. I mean, this is just added job security for me and my men. We do many. Now, there's one other thing. So there's base material to lift this patio. Whatever that base material is, I don't care if it's crushed limestone, crushed concrete, it takes a while for the water, after a hard rain, to go through the permeable brick pavers and then work its way slowly out to here. So literally you have this non-stop, just sieve, just slow, slowly draining base material under this patio so it's it's always going to be wet you're never going to dry this up unless you wrap a french drain around it you have to wrap a french drain around it so the guys they like removed this valve box completely dug this out put it back 
our drain's gonna go right around this sprinkler valve box. There's all kinds of obstructions. There was lawn sprinklers all through here. You know, the guys are working around them. When we're done, the only thing the homeowner is gonna have to do and is responsible for is the sprinkler adjustment. We'll do a test run, make sure we got all the lines repaired before we put the stone and pipe in. That's when you wanna do that. And then we're gonna use our big inch and a half stone so that this doesn't happen. Like that's just packed solid. This is like concrete. There was an old French drain here. As you can see, it's very shallow. We dug deeper. They used the wrong fabric. God, they used the wrong fabric. That stuff doesn't drain water. That's the kind of fabric that you see on the internet where guys are saying this drainage fabric don't work. That's that garbage right there. So they use the cheapest stone, the pea stone, because they're darn near giving it away. We got a, a pipe that honestly out of everything here, it held up the best. So I know what kind of pipe that is too. It's not big box store pipe. What we're gonna do to improve on this failed drain system, what we're gonna do to better this failed drain system, not only are we deeper, wider, we're using a bigger aggregate. It's an inch and a half, it's round rock, it can't compact, it's like the size of an egg. What that's gonna do is it's gonna keep this dry. Pea stone always stays wet. It's always soaking wet. There's no big voids, it's really compact, it's tight and I've never seen a pea stone system dry out. This is a breeding ground for iron auk and in other problems that are similar where it won't allow the drainage through the pea stone any longer. When we use round rock, it don't compact. And round rock, that's an inch and a half, has monster voids. Just, this will move the water right away and those monster voids will dry it out. It'll stay dry. So you want to use big aggregate to keep your system dry. You don't want tree roots and shrub roots to sniff that out. That's an issue. And then we're always battling iron oak. So with iron oak, you need the two bacterias and air and water. That's, that's the ingredients right there. So what we do is we're giving it so much air that we're just evacuating the water and drying it up, the system's gonna be dry. Once the sprinklers are done, once it rains and it's finished and the water finds its way here, it's evacuated, we have the giant voids that will dry the ground around it. It'll firm up this yard like a parking lot. It doesn't give iron auk a chance. And, and things like iron auk, because there's, there's a lot of stuff out there and I, I don't get too in depth on all that because there's some things that are just an act of God and there's really nothing any of us can do about it. But this is how we battle Iron Oak, which is really bad in the area, the areas that we work. We're starting, you know, to see it more and more. It's, it's bad news. So again, we're going to have the really big rock, not the pea stone. So this, this is like concrete, just like concrete. Just locked right up. Iron Oak is what I believe it to be because you can see the orange in color. Just froze it right up like concrete. Drain wouldn't work anymore. So, you know, this hasn't stopped running water since we dug it because that system wasn't moving no water. We were moving so much water earlier, and um, it's it's we're starting to dry this yard out right now. I mean, at this point, 
How long does it take for our systems to you know, dry the yard out when we come here and it's just saturated? Two weeks in warm weather, and if it's rainy weather and it's the cool season, it could possibly take to the following summer. I've seen it where it's just rain after rain and it's cold and it doesn't have a chance to really, you know, set up. But once it tightens up, it stays tight. That's what's great. We have our high octane with our sock on it. That's to catch stone chips. Now never use a pipe with a sock on it in place of the burrito wrap because you didn't accomplish anything. You wanna separate your stone from your subsoil. The reason why you wanna separate your stone from your subsoil is because it mixes together. And as it mixes together over time, now you don't have this stone that drains water anymore. It's, it's full of dirt. So that's why you want the soil separator and you want a really good soil separator. The one we're using is a commercial. For commercial applications, for highway use. Then we run it through this process where we end up punching it twice, not just once, but twice. The machine has a bunch of like little needles that literally punch through the fabric. And when you see it up close, you could see those little holes that are punched in this fabric. It's, it's pretty amazing because it has this tinsel strength of 100 pounds, which is fantastic. That's really strong for a four ounce fabric. Our four ounce fabric is gonna move more water, it's gonna move more water faster. If you don't have a situation where you're trying to move hundreds of gallons of water, then you can go to the eight ounce if you so desire. But the four ounce fabric is the one that rips, man. That's the one that really moves the water. And it, it, laughs, it, it lasts and lasts. I've never seen decomposition of this commercial fabric that they're putting under the, the new highways that we're using. And since we have it put through that process where we have it punched, we up the flow rating even more. So it's a really, it's a really amazing fabric. The big box stores are not going to carry it because it costs too much. And you're not going to find it on Amazon. It literally is supplied to the big construction guys. And when people seen us using it on YouTube, they started calling our office and asking if we can ship it to them. And that's how this all started, where we started to send the products that we use right to your door. Okay, so why are we using this pipe with a sock on it? We ended up getting a load of stone that has stone chips in it. Now, we'll take and grab a new load of stone that came into the yard to check it, and we'll have this screen, and we'll water it down, and then we'll take the big inch and a half stone that we requested and bought, and if the dirt washes through the screen holes, it's going to wash through high octane. But if there's stone chips that are the size of the inlets on the high octane, those stone chips will be a problem if you don't have a sock on this. They'll get stuck in the high octane inlets. So that's why we're going with the sock on this job. We have some stone that has stone chips and just thought I'd explain that to you. So if you get a crushed stone and you're saying, hey Bob, it, this is the only stuff I, I could get around me is crushed stone and it's got fines in it because cr all crushed stone has fines in it. You're not gonna get away from it because even if they screened it, even if they did everything that they possibly could, when they scoop it up with a loader, it's gonna chip the corners because crushed stone is sharp on the edges and it, and it comes down to a thin edge. When they dump it in the street, it's, you have rock falling on rock, tumbling out of a truck. You're gonna end up with those sharp corners those stone chips will get caught in your high octane. So if you're using crushed stone, you're gonna to wanna to use the high octane with the sock on it. So the blue pipe is underneath here with the big inlets. And we're just keeping the stone chips out of our system by using this.
When you use the high octane with the sock on it, you want to tape all of your fittings. Wherever you cut the fabric, you just want to use our super stretchy, super sticky 200 year FDM tape. That's a perfect job right there that Francisco did. He taped up this T connection, just absolutely beautiful. If you get a tear or a hole in the sock, you just put a piece of this tape on it. That is it. All right, so I wanted to show you why we're using high octane with a sock for, for the entire week. Look at the load I got. So I got, I got the stone, I got my inch and a half stone that I love so much, and it's round rock, so it won't compact, but look at the stone chips in this stuff. Now dirt will go right through high octane. You guys know that, I talk about it all the time. Look at these stone chips, man. I mean, I got a bum run, and there's nothing you can do. It's in your yard, they drop it. You know, we, we ordered 300 ton, it shows up. Yes, I do complain, but it's really, really hard to always, every single load, get clean stone. So why is this in our stone? Well, they charge me by the ton. See where I'm going with this? So this is garbage. They can mix it in pea stone, but that's about it. So they got their tonnage. So there's a bunch of it in here, and I just don't want it to fill. If that, if these stone chips, and see here, this is a lot of dirt right here. But there's stone chips in with the dirt. The dirt washes right through high octane. That's not an issue. I'm never worried about dirt. Our inlets are so big, but these stone chips get stuck in our high octane big inlets, and then it hurts our performance. You know, it makes us look bad. So that's not going to happen on our watch. We know when, where, and how to use a pipe in our systems with a sock on it. And I just wanted to show you guys because I, I never, I never show you guys this. And uh, this was a good opportunity. We we have sock going in all week because of the sewn chips. The guys are doing great. Wherever they cut the pipe, they're taping, they're taping the sock tight to the fitting. This beautiful work, beautiful work, man. I can't say enough about this crew. Incredible crew, talented crew, detailed. Don't miss anything. Love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. We already ran the sprinklers. All the repairs have been made. Very nice connection. So, we got iron off. Whatever's in these, whatever was used for base material has a lime in it. I saw it. It's also contributing towards some of the issues the homeowner's having here. But we covered everything here. We got the big stone. There's so much void. The air that moves through that stone. It's going to dry it right up, going to dry the yard right up tight. Again, iron awk needs water, air, and the two iron bacteria that come together and forms iron awk. I'm taking out one of those ingredients by building a system that only has water in it less than 1% of, of the time, of the life of the system. A lot of stone chips, a lot of stone chips. Again, dirt don't bother me, but man, these stone chips bother me. So now you guys know how and when to use high octane with a sock. They didn't use tape here, but they snapped the cap over the fabric. So high octane, all its inlets are preserved. This system's gonna rip and roar, man. Like I always say, a vein of stone lasts forever. And the fact that ours is gonna have water in it less than 1% of the time, because pea stone, that's just like a sieve, man, I'm telling you. It, it holds the water, it keeps it wet. I hate pea stone, man. I've not, I've not seen many applications where pea stone was the answer. I think the only place it belongs is, I love it 
in exposed aggregate. Exposed aggregate is beautiful. That's where pea stone shines. But outside of that, the problem is there's just way too much pea stone, and they always price that dirt cheap so the guys buy it. That's how the homeowners get stuck with pea stone. Nobody wants to pay for the bigger stone. It is more money, screening it down. The pea stone's the byproduct of this product, typically. I don't even know how the stone chips all happened outside of just greed. They mixed them in for the tonnage. But uh, I said something, and honestly, it usually makes a difference. You know, when you tell your supplier, hey, I had so, I had just so many stone chips. So I could guess on the tonnage of stone chips. All I know is, and a, a few stone chips is, that is normal and that's acceptable. But excessive, that's not normal and that's not acceptable. So contractors know when to get on your suppliers. Know when the, you know, to work the suppliers, to keep them honest and, and providing you the product that you're paying for. If you're going to pay more like we do for the better stone, you want a good round rock that don't compact because crushed stone compacts. You want big voids so it dries everything right out nice and tight. Avoid iron off that way. Just let your supplier know, look, you got to you gotta reduce the amount of stone chips that are in the product. Like, the next order, they know I'm looking for it. They know, I guarantee the trucks roll in and I got really really clean round rock we're in Washington Township Michigan beautiful Washington Township Michigan definitely definitely a high-end hood you got a you got to be like upper middle class <laughs> to be uh, a resident of Washington it's a uh, beautiful a lot of golf courses a lot of homes on golf courses But it is a high rent district, that's for sure. All right, so for loads like that, where you have a lot of stone chips, we have Boffman Tile put a sock on some of our high octane. And just through handling, you'll see a hole here and there that's nothing, don't even worry about it. If it's more than just a small hole, just tile tape, that's it. You can see that just the machine itself must have caught on the fabric you know, and Bop and Tile shipped it with tile tape on it. So, kudos to them. They take pride in everything. But I showed you guys a load where I had stone chips, a lot of stone chips. Now, that supplier, we've been doing business for 30 years. I am not going to screw up this relationship. I'm going to work through it with them. I'm going to let them know, hey, when you when you loaded me, you put on some stone chips. I, I get it. You got X many tons of stone chips. What are you going to do with it? You know what, put it in cement. You know, put it in the, say, the county road commission's, you know, load of gravel. Don't put it in my inch and a half wash rock. That's supposed to be screened of all that product. So it's just a matter of bringing it to their attention, working through it together, because that's another thing. It could have been just an honest mistake. That's what you always hope it is. But getting clean stone is really, really tough. I hear it from the of subscribers all the time, you guys, in the comments here, what do I do when I got, you know, a bunch of small finds? You know, I get an inch and a half crushed stone because I didn't have the round rock that you have. So I went with an inch and a half crushed, which that's good. That's great. I love that. Inch and a half. It'll run. It'll run water. That'll, that'll move some serious water. But crushed stone, it comes with little sharp edges. So guess what? When they load it and when they dump it, just through handling, when it's going down the road and it's shaking inside a, a you know, a semi truck or, or your dump trailer, it's going to knock all those edges off. Those stone chips, they're going to plug, they're going to plug the inlets in the high octane. It's going to, it's going to drop your flow rate down. So for that, 
just put in high octane with a sack. So inside, inside here is our blue high octane, the FDM high octane yard drain pipe manufactured by the Bluffin Tile Company. It has eight massive inlets per valley. This is all you have to do. Done. Now your drain is working. I mean, the stone chips don't mean nothing at this point. It means nothing. So that's what I'm trying to drive home because there's been the misuse of a sock because people think, oh, I'm gonna use a sock and I don't have to breed a wrap. Yes, you do. You put a sock on a pipe and how does that keep the stone from migrating into the soil and the soil migrating into the stone and now you can't get the water to the pipe. That's a backward way of thinking. So I'm just trying to enlighten everybody. You can use this in a burrito wrap. You always want a burrito wrap. You can use it in a burrito wrap for stone chips. That's how we use it. And that's the only time I use pipe with a sock.